Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shed Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sirree, Bob. Look, I ain't got no birthdays to shout out about today, but I tell you what, I do have some Pokey Pals. That's right, my Pokey Pals, Amanda Sue Little, and uh, Joseph Marshall. Yep, that's right. And then I do have the Shinsho Shares. Now, I guess I'm going to have to say that Steve Clary is a good friend because he does like and love the Shinsho, and he shares the Shinsho. And, well, that's what we're going to do. Doug Bell Bell, a.k.a. Steve Clary, shares the Shinsho. Likes and likes and loves and shares. That's the way to go, don't you know? Alrighty then. Hey, that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump on in here and do some weather for you. The weather for you is going to be brought to you today by mm, uh, Refreshing Word Fellowship Church, located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. That's right, pastored by ordained pastor John Schumer. They got a special event going on tonight. Don't forget to get on out there. That's right, Friday, July the 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Popcorn and soda pop, can't beat it. Come on out to the uh, Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. And then join us on Sunday at 11 a.m. for uh, the praise and worship message for the day. And then on Wednesdays at 1.30 uh, to 2.30 p.m. for an hour of powerful prayer. All right. All righty then, that there's Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Okie dokie, here we go with the weather forecast for the next five days. A mix of clouds and sunshine in the straight shower or thunderstorm is possible with high temperatures of 93 degrees Fahrenheit for the day with light winds and that are quite variable. Bo- 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 now some clouds will come in, be coming in this evening and then they will give way to mainly clear skies overnight. Low temperatures are going to be down around 75 degrees Fahrenheit with winds light and variable. Now Saturday, July the 24th, we're going to have plentiful sunshine, high temperatures of 97 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then mainly clear skies overnight with low temperatures dipping down around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now sunshine on Sunday. Well, partly sunshiny. Sunday, July the 25th. Partly cloudy skies and a stray shower or thunderstorm quite possible. High temperatures around 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be north to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That'll cool us down a little bit, won't it, if we get a little rain? Sure will. Partly cloudy skies with lows around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, winds are going to be east to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now the other uh, day for Monday, July the 26th, intervals of clouds and sunshine. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Highs around 92 degrees Fahrenheit with winds east to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Some clouds early will give way to generally clear skies and conditions overnight. Low temperatures around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, for Tuesday, our final day of our five-day forecast, Tuesday, July the 27th, Mainly sunny skies with high temperatures around 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable, and well, for mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable also throughout the night. And so there you have it. That's your five day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. There is a heat advisory out there, folks, just to let you know. A heat advisory uh, from Saturday. At 12 p.m. Central Daylight Standard Time until Saturday at 8 p.m. for uh, hot conditions. That's right. Actions recommended is execute a pre-planned activity 
identified in the instructions issued by the St. Louis, Missouri, U.S. National Weather Service in Missouri, Jefferson, Missouri, Lincoln County, St. Charles, Missouri, St. Louis City, Missouri, and St. Louis, Missouri counties. In Illinois, Calhoun, Illinois, Jersey, Illinois, Madison, Illinois, Monroe, Illinois, and St. Clair counties. Heat advisory remains in effect from noon to 8 p.m. on Central Daylight Savings Time on Saturday. What a heat index values up to a 105 degree temperature expected. So, where at? Well, that's going to be in Missouri. So, all the counties that are pre-named over there, well, they're naming them again here. When? From noon till 8 p.m. What to do? Well, that means trying to stay cool. You know, I'm cool all the time, so I ain't got to worry about it. I'm always cool. Now, that does not mean that you want to change your air conditioners to anything more than you've already, already ran them. Because if you change your air conditioners from a different setting, then we're going to have power uh, problems because everybody's working them air conditioners way too hard, which is going to draw a lot more electricity. And if we have blackouts or whatever, you won't have no air at all. So I suggest what I do is I check the temperature outside and I set her down about 20 degrees below what it is outside so that when you walk into the house, you know you've walked into a nice cold conditions. Now, if you get a little warm in the house, there's always a step outside. If you walk out to your mailbox and back, and you'll be relieved when you get back in. So there you go. That's my suggestion for how to deal with a heat index to 109 degrees. All right. Well, all righty then. Uh, let's see. How about story time? Story time for the today is going to be brought to you by Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie is the Facebook page where Jamie O'Driscoll can put, make you the specialist of, of occasions, decorations, decorations for the most special occasions. So, either wreaths, be it a wreath, be it a table setting, flowers all galore, pictures in the middle, you know it's going to be wonderful and beautiful. So, always go to Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie on a Facebook. All right, all right then. What else we got going on? You know, there is something else going on. Congratulations to 20 years of service Well, uh, for the LSG Ministries. That's Love Serving God Ministries. That's right. Well, their center is heaven. Well, I tell you what, it sounds like the house is coming down. But that's all right. We, we'll get it all figured out. Anyway, uh, we got we got we got we got somebody in the kitchen was preparing something, and well, we dropped some metals. Go to sleep. Yeah, I just had the old, the old uh, thing just to. T hey, it picked up every word I said too. My uh, voice activation system came on, and well, when it did, it started printing out what I was saying which is a good thing that it got everything I was saying. Anyway, uh, they're going to have a date that you will never forget. That's right. It's a, it's a first annual testimonial. That's right. With proof that when God brings you to it, He will bring you through it. That's right. Testimonies from folks from all throughout the city and area around the LSG Ministries. They're going to give their testimonies on how God has helped them and served them through His love for our, our, each and every one of us. So, that's uh, going to be located at Christian Community Center at 510 South Lincoln Drive, Troy, Missouri, 63379. Doors will open at 3 p.m. The program starts at 5 p.m. Dinner will be at 6.30 p.m. This will be Friday, August the 20th. So, see if you can't be there. Alrighty. Well, alrighty then. Best, uh, best, best to, uh, RSVP by 
LSG Ministries at Outlook.com. RSVP by email at LSG Ministries at Outlook.com. All right, in the end. <coughs> story time. Well, let's t- tell a little story. I'm going to tell you a story about a little putty tat. A little putty tat and found it that he lived in the home of a piano uh, ex- expirata, someone who really loved to play the piano. Well, with the little putty tat loving the, the piano so much, he decided that his favorite place was going to be inside the piano. Well, he found himself a nice little curve, a uh, nice little place to lay in the piano. But the next morning, when the contrario got down there and he decided to play the piano, well, the little hammers that are inside the piano that are supposed to be knocking on the uh, strings to make the piano make a noise, well, they was beating about that cat. And so, the started uh, uh, piano player started to play his music and what he ended up with was and so he uh, kind of liked the sound of it but he didn't want to hurt his poor little kitty cat so he couldn't figure out what to do so he played a few different songs. He tried one that would maybe scare the cat out of there. And so he went. But that didn't work because the kitty cat just got in the way of them hammers one more time. And so he just didn't know what to do. Thought about it and thought about it. And he thought, well, maybe if I throw a mouse inside the piano, that kitty cat can chase the mouse and catch the mouse. Now, if the mouse uh, can get out, the kitty cat will chase the mouse out. And so he threw the mouse in and threw some cheese around about the outside of the uh, piano so that the uh, cat or so that the mouse would decide he wanted to get out of that piano to get to the cheese. And so, in the middle of the night, mice being nocturnal animals, decided to start moving around and trying to get to that cheese. Well, as the mouse was crawling past the cat, he made, he bumped that cat, and the cat woke up. And then the chase began. And they were going, blah, 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 blah running up and down the keys of the piano, making all kinds of music, except for the fact that every time the cat stepped on the key, it would hit the cat. I mean, every time the mouse stepped on the key, the hammer would hit the cat. So it was like, and the cat would hit a key, and the hammer would hit him too. So it was like, so anyway, Cat was getting himself a little bit of devil went down to Georgia because he was chasing that there mouse, but that mouse was headed for Georgia apparently. And that cat was being beat senseless. So the piano player, he just was all worried about his cat because, well, they had their own symphony overnight. He was he was sitting out there and he heard that their uh, piano sat playing cat music all night long. So the next day he went ahead and he pulled that uh, mouse out of the piano. Still couldn't get a hold of the cat. Well, as he was reaching in for the mouse, the cat reached up and clawed at that mouse and got a hold of it. Well, the mouse jumped loose and ran through that piano one more time. And we went through another. And so, he decided that it was time to get rid of that piano, although he loved his cat. So what he done was he hired some movers 
to come and get rid of the piano. Well, the cat that night decided that he didn't like living in that piano barrack anymore on account of getting beat by the little hammers. So he got out of the piano. And when the movers came, they came and they moved the piano away. Well, the piano player, he couldn't stand not having that music in the house. And so what did he do? He bought him a new piano, a baby grand piano. Well, the baby grand piano had a big, wide opening. And it was easy for the cat to lay inside the piano and enjoy the music of the concerto. So it all ended up in one big, happy little family. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, uh, today, um, our next uh, bit of bit, bit of bit, bit of bit of uh, programming is the Great Symphony. Uh, that is the daily bread portion of the program. Well, the daily bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you today by the Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Psalms 33 and 34 and Acts 24. So, don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Alrighty, the greatest symphony. That is today's devotion. And the insights and scriptures that will be going with that will be 1 Corinthians 12. 12 through 20. And so here we go. Unity and diversity in the body. Just as a body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so is it with Christ. For we are all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body whether Jews or Gentiles, slaves or free, and we will all given we were all given the one spirit to drink. Now even so the body is not made up of one part but of many. Now if the foot should say, Because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason, stop being part of the body. Now, if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not, for that reason, stop belonging to, to be, stop being part of the body. Now, if the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? And if the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But, in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. It is also, if they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but only one body. Yes. As it is, there are many parts and only one body. Yes, that's right. And a foot can't be an ear, but how would the ear... How would the... Okay, a foot can't be a hand, but how would you tie the shoe on that foot if you didn't have the hand? And how would that hand get anywhere if it weren't for the foot to be there to walk with it? So that's what that there's trying to explain to you. Anyway, hey, that's a daily bread portion of the program that was brought to you today by the Bible with Prisco 2021. The Bible with Prisco 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Prisco 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Alrighty, friends. Hey, that looks like the end of the Shin Show. Looks like um, I got one song for you today, though, and it goes like this. Hello, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a Time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. 
I said goodbye, my friends, goodbye. As there has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you. Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope you are too. How'd you like that cat story? Made it all up on the go. Well, I don't know. It's a pen or in a cat. Whatever.